Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today we're going to be doing a video about Lucid Motors. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. So today we're going to be doing a video about Lucid Motors. Well, Lucid Motors actually hasn't went public just yet. If you guys don't know, Lucid Motors is an EV company that was founded in California back in 2007. Now, this company has been getting a lot of heat recently. The reason that is because the company is actually looking to go public. Churchill Capital, the stock we see in front of us today, is the one that's actually rumored it's supposed to merge with. Now, just know that right now it's just a rumor, so there's no actually confirmation that Churchill Capital is going to be the one that Lucid Motors actually merges with. But there is rumors running around that Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors are going to be the one to merge together. But this video is more about Lucid Motors rather than anything. And if we take a look at it, I this is me telling people that, you know, whatever stock that Lucid Motors actually does decide to go public through, you guys should pick up the stock. The reason that is because Lucid Motors is going to be the next big thing. It is definitely going to be a very good EV company and it's definitely set to rival Tesla. Now they're coming out with their vehicle. It's known as the Lucid Air and the car starts up at $77,000, which is a pretty hefty price tag. Now looking at it from a bigger perspective, I think they could have went a little bit cheaper on their opening vehicle just because it does attract a lot more attention. But the vehicle is definitely no slouch and it's definitely no cheaper version of Tesla. If we dive in a little bit deeper about the schematics about the Lucid Air, it offers a 517 mile estimated range on a full charge and, and basically has as much as 1080 horsepower. Now, if you take a look at that from a car perspective, that is so much horsepower and the car is definitely going to be very, very fast, which is definitely going to basically attract a lot of clientele and could put co the company on uh, basically the next level as well. So Lu Lucid Motors has an aerodynamic shape that's function functionable and fashionable. It's spacious and it has a lot of upscale features inside the vehicle itself, which does help with its atmospheric name, the Lucid Air. So if we take a look at it, the company also states that, you know, the company or the car can get 300 miles worth of range in just basically 20 minutes. So that's very good. That's very innovative. And the thing is, it's not just Lucid Air in itself, right? I know the company is going to do very, very well. And I know the company is going to be worth the investment in itself. I do think that people should invest in the company, but really taking a look at it right now, the company already has a factory located in Arizona and the company also, or the company also plans to build a factory in Saudi Arabia. If you guys didn't know, Saudi Arabia has about $1 billion invested in Lucid Motors. Like the company is going to be absolutely massive. And I do think it is definitely going to be the next big EV company. And I know it's definitely going to be one that's actually going to triumph as well. Now, we've seen that the EV market is very explosive. We see that the EV market is growing very, very quickly. Now, if we take a look at it from a bigger perspective, there's a lot of EV companies that are IPOing that are going public, but Lucid Motors is actually better off than all of them because they are actually starting production of the Lucid Air this spring. So, the company in is a lot better positions. The thing is with Lucid Motors, it's not just a business idea like some of the other EV companies out there like Nikola Motors and some of these other EV companies that went public, that IPO'd and basically haven't even sold anything yet. Lucid Air has factories made. They're they're put it, pumping in production. They're ready to start selling cars. And the company is expecting a lot of growth and sales in the very first year. So the company, like I said, is going to be very good. And like I said, a lot of big time investors are waiting for Lucid Motors to go public. And I just want everybody to know that people should invest in the company Lucid Motors. It does have a lot to offer and the company in itself is going to be absolutely huge. The EV market is very explosive. It's very rampant. And I know that Lucid Motors is going to do very, very well. Now looking at Churchill Capital, this is the company that Lucid Motors is actually set to merge with. Um, nobody really knows anything as of now. All I do know is Lucid Motors does want to go public with an IPO. Churchill Capital happened to be rumored to be the one to actually go through it. And a lot of big time investors and a lot of hedge funds are picking up Churchill Capital. Now, this leads me to believe that Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors are actually going to merge, but nobody really knows for sure. It's just a rumor as of now. And I want to tell people that, you know, if you choose to invest in Churchill Capital, it is a risky investment just because right now there's actually been nothing that's confirmed at all. There's nothing that's actually like stating that Churchill Capital is going to be the one set to merge with Lucid Motors. But Lucid Motors in itself is a company worth investing in. I think whatever company Lucid Motors decides to go public with is definitely 100% worth the investment. That stock will easily be $50 to $60 right out the gate, in my personal opinion. With Churchill Capital, just know that I am invested in Churchill Capital. I do own 100 shares, just kind of as like a small risky investment, but that's the biggest thing. It is risky. And sometimes when you're going at it from an investment perspective, 
Sometimes you do have to take the risks, you know, that's just part of the game. If anything, Lucid Motors or excuse me, Churchill Capital will probably just end up rescinding a little bit of its price overall. And I do think that the stock in itself will probably just hover around 15 to $16 if Churchill Capital doesn't get the merger, but we're very confident and very hopeful that Churchill Capital will get the merger with Lucid Motors and Churchill Capital at that point is definitely going to go to the moon. You know, this is a big thing and it's honestly like looking at it from a bigger perspective, Lucid Motors is going to be a big EV company. And like I said, I do recommend people to invest whatever it actually decides to go through. Now, looking at it from a Churchill Capital investment standpoint and an overall price prediction on this stock specifically, I think this stock is just going to consolidate for now until we actually hear more news on Churchill capital and lucid motors actually going through i do know that the lucid motors their ipo or their merger did get delayed a little bit so this is where i believe that churchill capital was not really going to see much movement until we actually see some form of news or more rumors are actually confirmed or we get more rumors that are just going to shoot the stock upward as well you know, so that you can't really put a price tag on Churchill Capital as of now. The stock currently sits at $23.08. Do I think it's worth the investment? Yeah, I'm invested in it, but I don't think it's actually super, super, super worth the investment. It is a risky investment, but it could pay off big time if Lucid Motors actually decides to go public through Churchill Capital because Churchill Capital at that point would definitely go to the moon. And I think the stock would easily hit $40 to $50 in a short time frame if it's actually confirmed that Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors are basically going to merge together. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of Lucid Motors. Do you guys think Lucid Motors can be the next Tesla? If you guys are invested in Churchill Capital, how many shares do you guys own? What's your average? I'm always very curious to know. Do you guys think Churchill Capital is going to land the merger with Lucid Motors?